Hey Nadia, thanks for joining in. Friends, we have Nadia Kareem uh, turning in from Dubai. And uh, Nadia is a polyglot specialist. Uh, she basically specializes in learning different languages. Uh, she is currently getting acquainted with uh, European countries, and the cultures, and the languages. So, when best Nadia is, uh, if she has Spanish, uh, she would love to learn how to dance uh, in that, uh, you know, culture. That that's the best part with her. She loves to explore different countries and cultures, and also to the food, dance, and you know how they really connect with a particular language. So that that's about Nadia. So Nadia, uh, thanks for taking this particular uh, one minute CM. So maybe you can use yourself and your passion to our new friends. Sure. Uh, bonjour, guten Tag, Marhaban, Namaste. Hola, this is Nadia. Uh, and like how Ravi introduced, I'm a polyglot by uh, passion and by profession. Um, I've been uh, working as a French language specialist for more than a decade now. It's mm -hmm. been almost uh, 13 years that I'm going strong in this language learning field. Um, it was not always a language expert that I wanted to become. Like I'm a science student uh, uh, by... Uh, like I studied science when I was in school and I wanted mm -hmm. to become a research scientist and I wanted to develop uh, a cure for Alzheimer's or muscular dystrophy or any of those genetical disorders which affect the brain. But kahani me aya twist. And uh, I don't know, I found my calling in languages. Somehow, uh, I think I was destined to be a polyglot. Um, when I started learning French, I never knew that, you know, my hobby could be my profession. It just so happened that my first job that I got, it was a surprise to me because I was like a normal, it was a normal corporate job and I was expected to speak normal English. But uh, I think my manager did not realize that it was a Canadian process. And somehow I kind of seized the opportunity and there is where I started my language speaking journey. So right from my first job till date, I have been working as a language specialist. So this one language, French, gave me so many opportunities. I mean, I worked in different roles. Like, for example, I started off with fraud and loss prevention analyst. Then I was into the technical role. Then I went to France for seven months. I taught in a lycée over there, that is a high school. Um, and that was a brilliant opportunity that I got. I mean, seven months in a European country. And not only did I uh, uh, experience the uh, life there in France, but I also traveled extensively to different European countries. And after that, I uh, worked as a translator and interpreter. And uh, in the duo course, I also picked up Spanish, uh, German. And because now that I'm staying in Dubai, what best than, you know, picking up Arabic. So actually, the places inspire me, people inspire me to learn different languages. And me learning the language is completely, uh, uh, the re my, my professors are the reason why I chose this field. And I completely give all credit to all my professors in Alliance Francaise Hyderabad. They've been such a wonderful, you know, teachers. I mean, it's not, it was not only really the job to teach, but they inspired me. And that's why I'm here and I'm able to speak multiple languages. Uh, having said that, I also uh, uh, learned uh, Spanish. I uh, solo traveled to Spain. I traveled mm -hmm. to Granada, Valencia. I picked up immersion course, language immersion course. And I was there for two months. And Obviously, when you are in a foreign land, nobody speaks your language. You are among people who absolutely you do not know. And you get stuck in situations wherein you have nobody to come to your rescue. But then, then is when you actually learn the language. So I got lost multiple times uh, on streets. And, you know, obviously, the, the, the basic Spanish survival phrases came to my rescue. And you get to interact with many people. And that's somehow uh, it kind of, you know, gives me an adrenaline rush. It makes me happy when I speak, uh, when I, when I speak to a native speaker. So still, I feel that, you know, I could pick up more languages and I am really intending to do so. 
so uh, so for me like languages is my nirvana <laughs> i found my peace in languages yeah that that's really passion uh, because nadia you know a lot of them uh, a lot of us we don't learn in we have only limited and you know maybe some content on youtube you know uh, being uh, learning in that particular country learning uh, the culture and you know seeing to use it uh, you know with what energies what expressions they use it i think that makes a lot of difference and you know that that's really uh, inspiring uh, to yeah sure please. i'm sorry to cut you well there are, there are many many uh, you know people who get really uh, fascinated by a foreign language they come they join they finish their level 1 level 2 and when the grammar starts getting difficult slowly they disappear like no i don't think language is my cup of tea so you really need to have patience and passion both so these are the two things that you really need to be able to kind of you know learn the language i agree with you i don't yeah uh, with respect to patience on learning uh, the grammar part of a language you know you, you can count me down on it but i agree with you it takes a lot of patience to you know learn uh, the language uh, in detail and you know get it grammatically right good 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 to know you so can we get rapid <laughs> fire questions so that you know our new friends sure sure why not yes i'm all set so common question describe yourself in three words obviously polyglot um i am crazy and i'm a foodie so why am i crazy because i absolutely you know i i i love to kind of you know have fun and i really don't plan things i improvise things and i'm like i can go to any extent who thought that i'd go to spain all by myself my mom also never imagined that i would step out of my own uh, city but there i was all alone in another country so yes i am crazy in a way and foodie i love food and uh, especially the italian uh, food is my favorite i love lasagna and mm-hmm. polyglot you know that i speak languages yes good so what what was your first job and what did you buy from your first salary ah uh, well uh, i was working for dell computers as a fraud and loss prevention analyst Mm-hmm. and i literally felt like i was in cid you know like oh this is my job to catch the thief it's like to catch the fraudster so it was very exciting and uh, that too i was dealing with this particular job in a foreign language so i was actually uh, probing questions in french while others were doing it in english and what did i buy with my first salary let me remember i think it was i think i must have bought myself a mobile phone if i'm not mistaken yeah I think I bought myself a phone. Yeah. Good. Your favorite emoji? For now, it's the mask <laughs> because it's Corona. <laughs> the Corona season. The mask is my favorite emoji as of now. I'm kind of scared to expose my face even on the uh, phone. <laughs> sorry, sorry to cut you down. Uh, uh, your anytime chat friend whom you can comfortably chat in the midnight, like one o'clock, two o'clock. express how you feel depends on if they're awake at 1 or 2 in the night but then yes it should always be i have two friends one is shweta she also is a polyglot by profession and another one is elvis so both of them are like any time chat friends so they always there for me okay now this is a tricky uh, one how many times have you been to stand up on your bench or kneel down or stand out of the class school days uh i can't really count because uh, our teachers were a little strict when it came to not being not doing your homework or you know when uh, you were caught talking in the class or not paying mm-hmm. attention and i remember this one teacher of ours i'm sure uh, people who study from saint francis know it uh, mm-hmm. there was this pt teacher vasumati teacher oh my god she was f- Oops, I, I think uh, you know Nadia got disconnected. Nadia, can you join back? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, can you just refresh and join back? Sure, one moment. Yeah. Just give us a minute, guys. 
She'll be right back. We have some wonderful comments, some wonderful friends of uh, Nadia, uh, encouraging her. So proud of you, D. So D is uh, a pet name or uh, that's D for DD? Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, welcome back. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I think I had a connection issue. You, you were so glued talking about your teacher that you got disconnected. So can you <laughs> repeat that? Sure. Yes. So this teacher was very fond of giving us punishments and she made us go around the ground around 10 to 15 times. And we literally were like, you know, praying and hoping someday, you know, that we don't have PT classes. So okay. uh, I really can't count. But yes, we were punished when we were in school. Uh, jada tha, you know, for you? Asked to stand up on the bench, yeah, kneel down, yeah, stand outside the class. Ye tino mein se na diya kaha pe thi zada kaun? Zada mein, like I would, I would probably not. I was not the one who would get punished because I was a nerd. But then, sabse zada I think, uh, shayad standing out of the class. I'm if I'm not wrong. Zada okay. punishment I wouldn't get. It it was only the PT teacher who was a uh, who was a little you know kind of strict but then apart from that i really didn't get so much punishment as such okay. most expensive thing that you bought for yourself most expensive thing that i bought for myself would be uh my armani watch till date it was the most expensive and it was my birthday and i wanted to gift myself something nice and luxurious so i bought myself a nice armani watch and i'm really proud of it it's still going strong that's awesome so, are you a pet lover? Uh, see, I love animals, but I really don't have any pets as such. So, mm -hmm. yes, I can cuddle, I can, you know, I can uh, feed a dog and I can be, you know, I really like dogs. But then I've never had a pet as such because I, we always ran out of space. We were living in a smaller spaces. So, obviously, we mushkil se rahe rahe, hum animals ko kahan rakhenge. So, that's the reason we never had pets in our house. Okay. What's your favorite junk food in Hajjubha? Uh, whom would you take uh, as soon as you land? Junk food. I love uh, onion pakoras. Oh, I love them. They're like mm -hmm. so spicy and so crispy, especially when it rains. Onion pakoda and chai. Brilliant combination. It's like really good. Okay. Street food. So whenever I go to Hyderabad, yes, I sure have pakoras over there. Okay. So which is the location and who are the friends you would first imagine to take that food, that junk food? Uh, Piaz pakoda should be with uh, obviously, my uh, translation team, that's Shweta, Elvis, and the others. We are five uh, very good buddies. So I think, yes, I'd call them and I'd be like, let's have chai pakoda. <laughs> what, what are the three best places you would suggest me if I come down with my family to Dubai, uh, which we shouldn't miss? Which you shouldn't miss? Ah, uh, see, uh, frankly speaking, uh, Dubai is known for its uh, gold, like the gold designs and the gold jewelry. So you obviously should not miss out on the gold souk. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, you will see such brilliant, uh, how do I say, uh, karigari or rather the brilliant uh, designs of jewelry. They are big, big rings and they are these uh, like the Turkish and uh, the uh, uh, different, 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 uh, you know, designs you have. So I think you should obviously not miss out on gold souk. Uh, secondly, obviously, you should not miss out on the Atlantis. It mm -hmm. is very like it, it's it's really good, and I think there were many movies also which were shot in that location, and okay. the Jumeirah, the Palm Jumeirah, it's very beautiful. Wow. Thank you. So, what's uh, your all-time favorite lyrics? I'm sorry, my my all-time favorite lyrics. So, any song lyrics lyrics is like really touching. I don't know. I mean, I am one weirdo that who, who always keeps listening to Latin songs. I mean, my husband also is like, what is this going on in the car? I mean, can you not listen to some music that we can understand? I was like, I always download Latin songs. And uh, for some time, I've been listening to Despacito. Absolutely didn't make any sense. There is no sense in the lyrics. But then the tune is so catchy. Uh, uh, but yes, I have this one song. Um, when I was learning French, I really loved this uh, song called Aisha by Shep Khalid. So 
you know when we were learning french we started you know singing songs and we were like so proud that we could remember the lyrics in a foreign language so yes aisha was something that i really uh, remember for a long time good good one so sunday you would wish to sunday it can be friday over there so if it's sunday yes. or friday <laughs> what would you wish to do um uh sunday i would wish to i mean i still do it but then uh, yes or if i if i could do it all the time i would uh, want to go to the beach mm-hmm. uh, i could take the breakfast I, ha- i could have the breakfast at the beach uh, looking at the sunrise and uh, the waves so this is what i could do every sunday if, every friday if i could go there right nice. so what is the most feel good thing that you've done in your life very obvious no <laughs> well the most of feel good thing that i did in my life is i traveled solo i didn't have any crutches no handicaps no friends no tantrums i want to go here i want to go there it was all yourself your planning what you wanted to do so the feel good thing that i that i did in my entire life was i traveled solo and i think you know putting yourself out of the comfort zone is what actually you know uh, makes you uh, teaches you a lot of things you can learn so many things out of it good so we have some friends uh, encouraging you with some beach locations they <laughs> did <laughs> three things okay. that are pending from your bucket list i'm sorry three three things that are pending from your bucket list um three things that are pending from my bucket list i want to learn uh, portuguese okay i want to travel to tashkent mm-hmm. don't ask me why <laughs> and uh, third would be uh probably maybe work for un united nations good it could so, be yeah. possible if i <laughs> Yeah, please yeah. please come. Sorry, yeah. So, yeah, work for United Nations maybe. Good one. So, the next question is from the audience. So, can you see that? No, I can't. Okay, so it's Burj Khalifa or Char Minar. Ah, Burj Khalifa to rozi dikhta hai, Char Minar kabhi kabhi dikhta hai. So, for now it should be Char Minar. Yes. <laughs> good one and the last question so your celebrity crush when during the 10th class days you know when you were in grade 10 ah uh, 10th class my celebrity crush should be dino moria i know it's like probably he didn't make it big in his career but then i really like dino moria i mean the way he looked was so cute so yes i had a big time crush on him that's that's nice so awesome job on your rapid fire very spontaneous very natural So good job on that. So now coming on to the final uh, game section, you know. So what would you do if you become uh, the one minute CM? What are the areas you would focus on? Well, frankly speaking, politics is not my cup of tea. But then, if at all, I was put in authority to influence the state or the country in some way, mm-hmm. I would probably do these two things. Firstly, as a citizen of India, I know that how. uh difficult it is for us to for us to pay the tax so while i'm doing so i really need some transparency in how my money is being spent what are the developments that government is doing uh with my money so if at all i was a person in uh, power i would probably try and make the system more transparent try and put the money in places wherein the the people can actually see that yes my money is being put in so and so places i can see that it's for our benefit and it's for our development secondly i know that our country uh, loves to take inspiration from the west when it comes to food fashion work yes but how about drawing inspiration by by you know picking up best practices best practices in terms of rules and regulations in terms of you know how to govern and uh, how to govern the uh, city or a, sorry a country or a state in a way that uh, helps our people um just an example the country that i'm staying in right now uae the rules are so stringent and so strict people would think thousand times before breaking or bending a rule 
the fines are so huge they would be like dude my salary is going to go in uh, vain rather let's follow the rule how about this approach comes in india mm-hmm. you know a 500 or a 1000 rupee note doesn't influence the police inspector and he's like dude i can't really fool him i have to follow the rule so this is what i want so it's basically our responsibility and the government's responsibility so if we both work hand in hand then is when probably you know the country would be much much better than what it is right now so it's actually both's responsibilities it's our and their responsibility so if i were the cm i would probably want these two things to happen in my state also awesome. good thoughts so we have your friends also sharing up uh, brilliant thoughts so we have uh, some you know humorous suggestions also nanamini garu she is suggesting free made for every house please so and she is also suggesting uh, joining who would also be a good option for you so you know in, see in... i am getting career options now <laughs> <laughs> good good, <laughs> good thoughts so yeah we, we, you know any uh, thank thanks for taking time out and uh, you know joining us from dubai and you know trying the vpn connection and all that to get uh, the voice and uh, audio streaming i mean video streaming so thanks for all that taking time out and uh, any any suggestions for uh, your new friends any thought process anything you have in mind that you want to say well firstly thank you so much for uh, interviewing me it surely makes you feel like a celebrity okay and uh, one thing i'd like to commend you about is this particular thing that you're doing is brilliant i mean i went through these uh, uh, videos that you have made with different people from different walks of life it's such a good thing to know about different people's profession and their background and their hobbies it's like you don't really have to interview priyanka chopra or uh, sharukh khan you know to know about their life it's nice if you can know your neighbor or if you can know people who live around you so brilliant brilliant initiative thank you so much ravi for that and i continue the good work i'm waiting for more uh, people from different uh, professions you know popping up on your uh, facebook uh, page so i will be waiting for the live feed well thank you so much thank you nadia for the inspirational words and you know keep doing awesome job just don't do stuff uh, which uh, make me feel jealous uh, going <laughs> all the country see whenever you come to dubai yeah rest assured i know sonu is also going to take you around but then yes <laughs> we are also there we could also give you a tour to the city no problem thank you god bless and you know do well in whatever you're doing you know clear guys i mean this this is a platform for people with passion you don't have to be celebrity you know but if you've got a passion and you're driving something please join us uh refer your friends who got passion uh, so that you know we get to make friends with them so thank you nadia kareem uh, have thank a great you, day thank you thank you and eid mubarak eid mubarak in advance to everybody eid mubarak thank you bye bye all thank you friends bye bye bye